Hello everyone, welcome to Test Engine Tutorial. I am Raghavan Mishra and in this video we are going to discuss the execution of failed test cases in Test Engine. In automation testing, when we run test cases, failed tests are inevitable. So the test might fail due to various reasons like server related issues, network related issues like network latencies, script related issues like assertion or so and so um, many other issues related to the script, right? May cause test script failures unresponsiveness of application or validation failure itself so sometime to prioritize the next run we need to run only failed test cases and also running only the failed test cases validate the bug fixes quickly so in this video what we are going to discuss is like one we will we will be running the test suite and uh, we will be again uh, intentionally failing some test uh, script and we are going to see like how to run them manually and also we'll create test runner program to run failed test cases so let's go to the eclipse and see how it can be done okay so this is my eclipse uh, id and in this test ng demo i have this folder structure called src test java and let me create one more package inside it com dot as that the, so that is going to be my package and I'll be creating two test ng classes called test case one and I'll be creating one more inside the same package called test to two and I'll be creating one test method call test one inside test case one class and I'll be printing test method one is is working as expected okay just before this I am gonna use assert from assert package class basically assert from the test ng i'll be passing true so that i mean the test method gets uh, passed and the same code i'll copy to the another class under test annotation of course and i'll be writing test method 2 is working expected i'll be passing false so for sure we know that uh, if we are passing false to assert true uh, it is going to fail the test case because the hard assertion because of the hard assertion the next line will not be printing okay so let me run this quickly and it should fail yeah it should fail and it will not be printing the print a statement test method 2 is working is working as expected it is not printing because it is failed and it will it is going to be passed okay and it will be printing that statement okay so let me quickly create the test ng and we know for sure that one test is passed and one test is failed so i'm going to create the test ng suite so i'm converting all the classes to test ng suite so let me write smoke test testing so i've just renamed it to a smoke testing and i'll be so you can see those two classes are here inside this so i'll be overwriting the existing test ng dot xml and here you you can see that test ng so let me just minimize the test output folder and you can see the test ng dot xml is here okay so once you run this you should see one pass and one failed test cases now we are interested in failed test cases so we want to run the failed one we want to run failed test cases manually okay so what we will do we will go to the project folder and refresh it or we'll see the 
test output folder here and since we have given the name to test smoke testing right or you can refresh this folder itself so we have given the name like smoke testing or you can see that or if you are so let me not confuse you so i'll just remove this test folder because it has existing set of uh, files so i'll just run it one more time won't take much time right and i will refresh the project i will just refresh okay so you can see the test output folder has the smoke testing folder inside which it has test ng hyphen fail dot xml okay so you know for sure that uh, this will have the track record of the failed ones failed classes only the, the failed test cases right so you can see and this is that method which is failed and if you run you will get the similar result right until the fix is uh, provided our system is passed with the fix okay so this is the way you can uh, identify the failed one okay so you can go to that uh, suite or folder or inside the test output folder and if you are not specifying this so you can directly see that test ng hyphen failed dot xml inside the test output folder here and you can identify which all test cases are failed and you can just go to the xml and uh, run it separately right as a test ng suite so if the fix is provided um, you will get the respective output right accordingly now now uh, what what uh, what we can do like we can we can uh, run the failed test cases using test runner class also so what we have to do here is like we can create one test runner uh, you know program so let me just uh, create that test runner and uh, that is going to be my uh, i mean like that will have the main method of course so i can have that main method here in this program class because we are uh, going to run uh, using you know main program right stand alone like you can run those failed test cases from this program basically so what you have to do here is like you have to create the object of test ng for that sake test ng object and what you have to do you you can just test ng object and add set test sweet okay so so this is expecting if you mouse the hover uh, test uh, suite so it is uh, telling you like how to define that right so this can be copied or you have to what you have to do is like it is expecting that a list to be passed right so you have to create the list of uh, i mean a string and then you can pass that right so you can either you know copy this from here or you can just go ahead and uh, create a list of string basically equal to new array list the way it was mentioning array list of a string of course and you have to give that name called sweet okay and and what you have to do here is like you have to add this mouse the hover and uh, import that uh, list from java utils so, so this is that data structure which is available in the collection so you have to add what you have to add you have to add that failed test ng hyphen failed dot xml right so wherever it is in this hierarchy in the folder basically in the system so you have to get that 
absolute path for that test ng so i'll be just copying it copying the path from here i'll close this and i'll just put it here okay and in this suite you have to add so you can like number of uh, you can add n number of uh, test ng failed dot xml right n number of uh, smoke test whatever has been basically failed whatever test uh, cases has been failed can be added to the suite okay or i can make it as you know list or whatever uh, reference variable variable name you want to you know add you can give that and later you can add that to now you have to add that to you have to pass to test ng object right set test suite and you have to pass that suite name here okay and what you have to do finally you have to call the run method from this object okay so this is that so this is that um, java standalone program test runner class and if you run it so you won't get the option to run it as test ng because it has included main method here so either you have choice to run as a java application so let's run it so you can see there is one test uh, you know run which is actually the failed one okay and it is failed again you can see it right okay so how to you know make that pass basically so we are passing this test ng fail.xml here and it is getting picked up by this program and it is giving this output whatever we are expecting right so if the system is passed with a fix passed with a fix so when the next time you are running this standalone uh, test ng dot fail dot xml right test ng hyphen fail dot xml it is going to be passed so for example this in this program we actually passed uh, i mean passed we actually passed that false to this sr true and in this case we are actually passing this as a true uh, i mean true value to as a true method so let's run that after changing that test to method test to class method if i am running this so if that is going to pass or not yeah so you can see test method 2 is working as expected okay so this is how you can run the or execute the failed test cases in test ng so i hope this concept is clear to you guys so if you have still have any doubt you can reach out to me you can comment on this video and uh, I'll, I'll try to answer those uh, questions so thanks for watching this video and um, i'll see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching